thing you need to know when traveling in Namibia that it's a self-drive road trip. So this time we decided to take bigger cars than usual. So they are 10 seaters, they are the Hilux. And now we are having some explanation of the cars and then we are going to start our trip. On our first day of the trip, we arrived to one of uh, my favorite locations in Namibia. There's the mountains here, it's called Spitzkopper. And the entire park consists of the mountains. And they have this really, really weird shape. sunset here now and guys this is unbelievable probably that's one of the best sunsets I've seen in my life I don't know I've seen many For now, we are having an amazing time in the lodge this morning and we are getting ready for another day in Namibia. And today we are going to see Himba tribe and we are going to see as well the biggest colony of sea seals in the world. And then we are driving all down to Swakopmund. So it's the most, I would say fashionable, but it's the coolest city in Namibia. There are so many nice restaurants, so we're going to have nice dinner with nice seafood and really, really beautiful surroundings as well. You can feel like you're the only person in the world here. And we are going to a new adventure today. We are starting our day with the boat going to Pelican Point. So obviously we are going to see pelicans there. And if we are lucky, we are see dolphins, maybe whales, seals. And after the Pelican Point, we are going to one of the most famous places in Namibia. It's called Sandwich Harbor. And it's exactly the place where dunes meet the ocean and it's the highest dunes in the world and the oldest desert in the world. So it's a very exciting day.
25 and it will be quite extreme because we are starting it with uh, buggy rides and we are going to ride around the desert which is really really cool. Hello beautiful people and we are on another adventure today and we came to climb the dunes and this is dune number 45 it's uh, one of the most famous one because you actually can go up on it after that we are going to go to the dead Bay. it's uh, the most famous uh, location photo location in Namibia probably you've seen it it looks like a white lake fully dried with the black trees growing from it As I told you before, we are going to Dead Bay after Dunes and this is the most famous location in Namibia and it looks so surreal so I'll show you later but the story behind this place is that there was a lake before and the lake got dried and obviously the salt came up and now it has completely white flat thing and there were trees growing out from the lake so now they became like a stone trees, they are completely black if you touch them, they feel like they're made out of a stone. They don't grow, they're just like this. They don't need water to survive. Morning world, good morning, beautiful people. We were in the desert yesterday in the dead lay. Today we woke up on the bank of the ocean. And we came to the ghost town. It's uh, the city where people used to mine diamonds but all of a sudden they finished and uh, the city got buried in the sand and now it looks really surreal so even before people used to mine uh, diamonds here now they're mining on the instagram photos but come i'll show you a little bit of it So today is our last day of our adventure in Namibia and we are going to have few highlights for today. The first one is we came for a sunrise 
to Fish River Canyon is the second largest canyon in the world. And afterwards, we are going to some really stylish gas station with uh, retro cars. It looks really unique, I'll show you. to clear tree forest they look like this and the sunset is really nice as always <laughs> Thank you. 